Jim, I have some audio here that a bunch of listeners sent us in a couple weeks ago, but we never got a chance to play it, and I wanted to get your thoughts. Ricky Starks had some comments about the concept of the four pillars in AEW. This is from The Corner Podcast. Let's go to this. There's, there's four pillars that were deemed two and a half years ago. Right. And they are running a program now right. on four <clears throat> pillars from two and a half years ago. Mm-hmm. That, those pillars have changed, sir. He had mentioned your name and bypassing people who were then pillars yeah. when you were just signed in a pandemic to where you guys are now and the fact that you should be mentioned as a pillar well, can of I, this company. Can I speak on that? I actually hate the idea of pillars. Mm-hmm. It's, it's weird. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> but they I loathe the idea of a pillar because one, it's a full gimmick and it came from one guy yep. who... There, there's no, there's nothing behind it. You get what I'm saying? To say that these four dudes are the pillar of the company, you know what you're doing by saying that? F everybody else yep. who did anything. Those people don't matter. It's these three guys that we deemed. I have bestowed this sacred title upon thee, and I want you to go forth and do with it. No, I don't believe in that. It's a very <laughs> sweet gesture to say Ricky should be considered a fifth pillar. Baby, I don't need to be a pillar, okay? I can be a foundation. I can be the roof. I can be the person outside maintaining the lawn. I don't need none of that. Because to me, that's a box within itself. Four pillars, you got me. What? Four pillars? Four pillars of what? Name one coliseum that you know that's famous. I bet you couldn't even do that. So to say that these four guys are the ones that are going to make and break, let's see the numbers y'all want to talk about ratings let's see the ratings for y'all four huh let's see how much money y'all making if y'all want to keep bringing up all this bullshit let's see it pin the paper how are the quarterly hours doing when y'all are on tv let's see it i want to see it the four pillars hell yeah my paycheck is signed by those four dudes hell yeah let me see you get what i'm saying yeah i don't even like the conversation. I don't even want to be included. Keep me away from that. Shit. Well, let me stop it there. Jim, <laughs> what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on what he's saying? And what are your thoughts on talent saying things like this in general, whether it's Ricky Starks or someone else on a public forum like this? Well, I don't, he beat around some bush. He made a couple of points there. It took a while. But the, the thing is the pillars thing. And you're the Japanese wrestling expert of modern times. I might be able to hang with you on, you know, Baba and Anoki's day. But the four pillars, when they named them the four pen, who were the four pillars? Uh, Kabashi, Masawa, Kawada, and Tawi. Did they name them the four pillars when they just broke in and the company just started and they were having their first matches? Or did they name them the four pillars because they were already the four established stars that were carrying the company? They were the four wrestlers holding up, not holding up that company, but the five-star tag team matches, the singles matches, any combination of those guys, those were the four guys in All Japan. And they had already done these things. They were already having these great matches, and they were already drawing these big houses, and they were already making that news, right? Yeah, yeah. Kawada was in the real world final, uh, the tag tournament finals in 88, so he was already doing stuff, and Masawa was already the second Tiger Mask. So, yeah, these guys were already doing different things before that point. Okay, and they were established, and they were actually demonstrably, observably, empirically having great matches and drawing money. So that's the concept. They're the four pillars of because they're the four big stars in the company. What they've done with AEW is because Tony and the rest of the marks that, you know, are on the roster that fantasize and, you know, have this, this whole fucking, you know, delusion built that they're all great Japanese wrestlers like we used to watch videotapes and we take all of our, you know, ideas and our concepts from them or whatever. So he decided when they opened the company that he would have four pillars, but it wouldn't be the four pillars wouldn't be the actual top four guys that were having the great matches where the main event stars were demonstrably drawing all the money. It would be the homegrown guys 
that people had advised him, oh, these guys are going to be great. They're going to be your future. Oh, well, then we'll make them the four pillars. Jungle Boy, MJF, fucking uh, Darby, and Gizmo, Satchmo, Satchmo Guerrero, Guevara, whatever his fucking name is. And overlooking the fact that now you're the, the reason why the other four pillars were the four pillars because they were already the stars. They were already doing this. They were demonstrably the four people carrying the company, not the four people that you fantasize wanting to be your top stars in three or four years. If it worked out that way, that'd be fine. But only one of them did. MJF's your top star. Co-top star now that Punk is back. And the other guys have varying levels of popularity or unpopularity, but nobody can say that they're the biggest stars in the company, having the greatest matches and drawing the most money or the biggest ratings. Especially in the case of Jungle Jack. And Starks here was specifically saying those three guys, so I'm assuming the one person he's not including in the critique of who the four pillars are is MJF. Because that would invalidate his criticism. MJF grew into the spot and into the role, so they had a 25% success rate. But Starks, if he had had the, the effort put into him that Darby did by being given an icon as a mentor and by, you know, being fucking pushed to the moon, or Sammy, at least he's been on television, even though he was a Guerrero, uh, Jericho flunky for quite some time and the other guys had all kinds of chances he just they didn't know four years ago that he didn't have any personality and he was never going to get one but the, so that's the point that starks is making hey it's not what a, what you were saying that you wanted to come true it's what's happening now and he can hang or exceed any of the other three pillars except for MJF. And I believe that's a fair assessment. 